We turn to a consumer alert now, and we're talking about $22,000 in cash. Deputies in Fond du Lac County say a woman was tricked into trying to send all that money to a would-be fraudster. But the woman is not out any of that cash because some people at a local UPS store got suspicious. So what all happened here? NBC 26's Ben Boken reports. When someone walked into his store trying to send a birthday present with next day shipping, Brad Polash didn't feel right. Anything we send next day air, whether, you know, it's kind of like always like, well, let's look at what's going on. Why is it going next day air? So he asked some questions. What was she, she sending? Who was it she sending it to? Did she know this person? You know, what was the sort of relationship with them? When the customer didn't provide clear answers, Polash knew something was wrong. If you're sending, you know, a birthday present to someone, you know, there's you, you know them and you you sometimes talk about, you know, what are you sending? That's so nice or or whatever. And there just was all of that was just missing. Last week, employees here at the UPS store in Fond du Lac caught a scam when someone tried to ship over $22,000 in a package. I was in shock when I first heard that figure and just was like, wow. Polash alerted UPS of a suspicious package and eventually the Fond du Lac County Sheriff's Department started investigating. We deal with these quite a bit, but receiving information from UPS on a potential scam is something that we normally don't get. The department says the scammer convinced an elderly woman to send the cash to California by using internet and phone communications. These type of circumstances, they, they get to us. It makes us sad and makes us angry and we need to find the people that are responsible for this. Detectives are now making calls attempting to locate those responsible. Suspects that uh, engage in this type of behavior sometimes aren't even in the United States. So here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, it gets tough to go after somebody who is across the pond. So far, the case is unsolved in Fond du Lac, but the silver lining, the victim got her money back. Fortunately, we were able to prevent over 22,000 bucks and, and getting shipped over to California. Some people, that's an entire year's worth of money, you know. In Fond du Lac, Ben Boken, NBC 26.